Kenny. What? Do you know what it is that mommy does for work? Mm -hmm. What? You shoot videos. I do shoot videos. I kind of have to shoot one now, but these chips and salsa are so delicious, aren't they? Uh huh? Uh huh. What should I shoot today? Princess video. A what? A princess video. Oh. Do you have any ideas where I can find a princess? Yeah. Where? Oh, let's do one. What are we shooting today? Oh, today on the uh, agenda, we've got... <laughs> we've got a princess video. We're shooting an antique haul because we basically have fallen in love with antiquing. That's become our favorite thing to do and we love to get mm -hmm. antiques and stuff. So I got some cool stuff, you got some cool stuff. Some of the stuff you picked out and some of the stuff I picked out. So I'll tell them what I picked out and you tell them what you picked out. I know, we actually have a good collection of stuff we recently got and things that are already styled in the home but I think our obsession for antiquing has gone next level. I cannot take anything seriously right now. Turn around so I can see these shoes. Cheers. She's literally, <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Cheers. The first item on the countdown is Cezanne's outfit. Cause you look like a retro dad. Like what is this <gasps> outfit? A dad? I mean, you look like a dad from like, I think the eighties or like a preppy high school. I'm kind of into like the long jeans, not so much rolled up, you know, with like a belt, very uh, Kelly Kapowski. I feel like back in the day, our dads had so many of these kinds of shirts and I wish they kept them because we could have cropped them and I wouldn't have had to spend like 40 bucks on this at Urban Outfitters, you know? Well, congratulations, you're a 70s broski. All right, let's do the tour. <laughs> so right out of the gate, I've got to say this vintage ladder that we found for like $150, I kid you not, is something that I have been searching for forever. Ever since I saw it on Amber Interiors inspiration page, it's literally the perfect piece that you can add to like just like a plain wall or an area of a room that just needs a little cozy touch. The ladder's dope, Saz, but it's nothing compared to this distressed French mirror. Oh my gosh, she was asking me, should you get that, Steve? I said, heck yeah, look at the distressing on this thing. Plus, if you try to find it on other websites, yeah, it's a little newer looking, but it's way more expensive. Check this out, got this for 300 bucks. Yeah, it's got some wear and tear, but that's creating the charm, right? I love this piece, it can go anywhere. Okay, when I go to antique stores, y'all, I get really overwhelmed. But one thing that I really like to look for myself is actually these mix match frames, y'all. I've seen a lot of decorators do this where we get, they get bigger frames, smaller frames, and they replace the pictures. Sometimes they leave the pictures. I love this one because it's the Texas theater, baby. Holler. And then I love these other frames. They're just really cool frames with rustic photos. We might replace the photos. We might not. We or definitely I might... are. Who are these people? We have no connection to them, babe. We might put sunglasses on them. <laughs> Can we talk about our rugs for a second? Currently we've been loving adding vintage rugs into the space. Um, in our upstairs living room, we have a really great jute rug that's super cozy, vintagey, but it's paired with these modern couches that we got from Jonathan Lewis Furniture, and y'all know it had to also be super comfy and super cozy, but the cool thing is, is it's a little bit more modern looking, but it still has that really great high performance fabric so that, you know, Teeny's jumping all up on the couch or Sweetie decides to jump on there, we'll be good. I love having bowls like this in my kitchen. These marble bowls I found in Round Top, Texas, and I had to grab a handful of them. They're so cute for just styling and stacking on top of each other or adding some oranges or lemons. This is a simple one, y'all, but I found these really cool old um, notes, and there was actually a few of them. I kind of want to go back and get more, but really cool old school piano notes with this handwritten note on it. It's just a nice little accent piece to throw in the piano to, you know, jazz it up a little. Also too, I got this World War I Princess Mary brass box. This was actually sent to all the soldiers in World War One. I. I thought this was a really cool accent piece. You could put anything in there. I personally like to keep some of my cigar stuff in there because, you know, that's what it was for before. So when I saw this antique stool, I literally thought like, I have to get this. I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it, but it's one of those pieces that you can constantly move around from room to room, whether it's indoor or outdoor, and just stack either your favorite candle or even some flowers on it. Something else I like to layer together are these really old school, antique, um, what would you call them, like little canteen? It's a vase. It's a vase? 
really great for you know using it to put some flowers in or in my case some dry weeds it just makes my shelf look so much did you cuter. just say dry weeds oh <laughs> <laughs> so it's not every day that you get a frame like this and you actually like like the artwork. I thought this was so cute paired against the stonework in our kitchen. There's just something about it that feels nostalgic to me and I love the wood framing. Ooh, okay, this might be my favorite detail in the kitchen if I'm being honest. Um, these old, very old vintage cutting boards, we got them in Round Top, Texas and they are so perfect. We stacked two of them together and trust me, I honestly have to constantly remind you, babe, not to actually cut anything Thing on there. This is just for Juani, as we say in Kurdish. Something else that we really love and we've used just a couple of times are these copper pots. I mean, they come in all these different sizes. The little teeny tiny size is so hard to find, so we knew that when we saw it at the antique store, we had to get it. I picked out this antique desk lamp. I thought it was really cool. We saw it in this uh, really cool store that we like again in Round Top, Texas. But I thought it was perfect to go on my piano. You know, I'm trying to dress up my piano because that's where I set the vibes for the whole family. Last but not least, you laugh at me because I call these my biblical bowls. I don't know what this material is. It kind of looks like paper mache a little bit. It's super lightweight, but it looks very vintagey, very biblical, and I love it so much. I have two of them, and it makes a great statement for your table or for your shelf. How did we do today? Pretty good? Hi. You know, that was a lot of fun. And that was probably a lot of antiques in our home, but also we have more. So I feel like we could do a part two to this. Let us know. You want to see us do a part two? Comment below. Say we want part two. Can you tell or me. Just put a number two. Okay. Do a sign off. Okay. Sorry. You said I look like a dad, so hold on. Oh. Whoa. Thanks so Whoa. much for uh, stopping by my channel, hanging out with the fan. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's it.